To do any percent problem, you could always draw this triangle. And here's how you'll label it. The part is the smaller amount, the whole the bigger amount, or the percent if you know that one. And then here's what you'll do with them. But you'll always know two out of these three things. So let's check out this problem. In an election, 3,190 out of 3625 voters support an environmental bill. What percent of voters support this bill? But we're finding a percent, so we could go ahead and draw this triangle. And then we know the smaller amount, that'll go up top. The bigger amount, same thing as the whole, so bottom left. And when they're stacked, you're going to use division here. And that'll give us the percent we're looking for. So let's use the calculator. We'll do 3190 divided by 3625 and 0 0.88. But a percent, when you say that word, is talking about cents. So 88 cents, same thing as 88%. And that's all for this one. But what's nice is you could double check the answer you got. The whole and the percent are next to each other. You could use multiplication. And multiplying these two, we should get 3190. So let's just double check. 3625 times our 88%. And sure enough, we get 3190. So they all fit perfectly within that triangle there. Okay, another style you could see. This time we have a percent, so you could automatically draw your triangle. The bill for dinner is 4230. You then want to add a 20% tip. How much should you tip? Well, let's draw our triangle, and you know what to do. You got your 4230, that's the total. Same thing as the whole, so we'll put it bottom left. You got your percent, we'll put it bottom right. And when they're next to each other, we'll use multiplication. So multiplying these two, that's going to give us the part or the tip that they left. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 4230 times the 20. To do the percent, just hit the second left parenthesis. So 846, and that's the part, or that's the tip they left. So that's all for this problem. But there's many ways to do a 20% tip. So the way that my mom taught me, you can always find 10%. You just take the decimal, move it one place to the left. So 4.23. But then to get 20%, you just want to double that, multiply it by 2. That's another way to get 846 there. So let us know in the comments how you do your 20% tip here. But there could be one extra step here. A new phone, 800 bucks, but it's on sale 15% off. What is the new price you'll pay? But you know what to do. You see a percent, let's add our triangle. We know the whole, we know the percent. We'll multiply those two, and that'll end up giving us the part, which we could do with the calculator, but that'll give us 120. However, that is 15%. We're taking 15% off, so therefore we'll subtract it out. And that'll give us a grand total of 680. So that's the new price for this phone. So it's very common once you find the part, you'll add or subtract it with the total amount. Okay, let's check out another style. Your monthly expenses are shown. If you spend $22 on water, what is the cost of all your expenses? Well, we know we spend 22 on water, and water is 8%. As soon as we have a percent, we'll do our triangle. But the question is, is 22 part of the cost or the whole cost? Well, that's just part of the cost, so we'll put it up top. And then we know that represents 8%. We'll put that there. And we're looking for the total or the whole. But again, they're stacked. We'll do top divided by bottom, and that'll give us the total. Okay, we'll do 22 divided by, another way to do 8%, we could just do divided by 8 cents. And that way you could type it in if you don't have a percent sign. And there we have it. So 275, and that is the total. So that's what all the expenses would combine up to. Okay, let's look at another. You take a rideshare to the airport, the ride would normally be 24 bucks. 
but there's a surge price of 720 extra. What is the percent increase? We know we're looking for a percent. We'll do our triangle. The 24, that's the bigger amount, so bottom left. We've got the smaller amount, put it up top, and then just divide those two. So 720 divided by 24, that'll give the percent. Once again, let's use the calculator. 720 divided by 24, 0 0.3, but that's the same thing as 0 0.30. So 30 cents or 30% there. So that's the percent increase for this problem. Now you may notice in textbooks they actually give a separate formula for percent increase. It's just the increase divided by the original. And you're welcome to use this formula, but the triangle ended up doing that same thing here. Okay, let's do one final one, because you may have a problem with two percents in it. You want to buy a computer, it's 953. There's a 8% sales tax, and then a discount 35% off after taxes. What is the new price? Well, anytime you're given 2%, you're going to draw two separate triangles. But let's just start with the first one. And we have our total bottom left. We've got our percent bottom right. So let's calculate the sales tax. Okay, they're next to each other. We'll multiply. And we could do that with the calculator. That'll give us 7624. But of course, that's the tax, so we'll add it to the original cost. And that'll give a new total, 102924. So we're not thrilled about this new computer. It's pretty expensive. But now we're going to use the 35% off. So let's draw our second triangle. However, when you calculate a new total, that's going to become the new hole in the second triangle. And then let's do the 35%. We'll multiply those two, and that'll give 36023. But we know that's a discount, so finally subtract that out. And that'll give a final cost, 669 and 1 cent. So now we have a $600 device to play solitaire. Okay, I hope you feel a lot better with percent problems. Here's a video with more percent problems for some extra practice. Let me know what questions you have, what else you want me to cover. You got these. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles.